Hello, my name is Paul Warren and you're watching Bermondsey Daily Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. There's a programme currently being shown on the BBC called Repair Shop. It works like this. People take along a broken but precious item to the repair shop and the experts there are able to fix it up, to restore it, to make it like brand new again. And people are so pleased when they get their items returned to them in as new condition. It's a great show. Now, when I uh, like to fix things myself, I come out here to my garage. There's all sorts of tools and uh, different bits of apparatus here that I use. I'm currently restoring an old 1960 motorbike. You can just see the engine here by the side of me. It's a hobby I love doing, repairing things, making them as new again. But you know, there's some things that we can't actually fix. Some things which are beyond our power to make a difference to. Some things which the only thing we possibly can do is return them to the maker. Well, what I'm thinking about here is our situation before God, our relationship with God that we so often break up we get it wrong, we stray away from him, we try to do things in our own strength and there's nothing we can do to restore that broken relationship. All we can do is return to the maker. All we can do is to come back to him and that's what Easter has been all about. It's been about that rescue, that restoration that only God can bring. Only through Jesus and his death and his resurrection can we be restored into the relationship which God wants for us. I'm going to read to you uh, from uh, the Bible here. Paul, uh, the great uh, Bible writer, in his letter to the Colossians said this, May you be made strong with all the strength which comes from his glorious power, so that you may be able to endure everything with patience. And with joy give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to have a share of what God has reserved for his people in the kingdom of light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son by whom we are set free. That is, our sins are forgiven. It is through him that our sins are forgiven. It's not what we do. It's what he has already done. We've been celebrating Easter over the last week or so. What a great joy it is to know that his sacrifice sets us free, restores us to the relationship with God, just as God intended it. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for that sacrifice made at Easter. Help us, Lord, to uh, return to you time and time again when we realise our shortcomings and Lord we thank you that you have patience with us and that you forgive us that you restore us in Jesus name Amen You've been watching Bermondsey Daily Message do tune in again for another edition from somewhere else in Bermondsey Goodbye